Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, we're going to do a little overview on a Waves plugin called the eKramer BA. Uh, we're going to go into it. <clears throat> we're going to see what kind of options it has to offer. We're going to give you guys a little, uh, a little heads up on it, maybe get you guys a little bit more familiar with it, you know, a little overview about it. We're also going to show you guys how to open it. We're going to go down to Audio Effects. We're going to go down to Audio Units, Waves. We're going to go up to the E Kramer BA, it's right here. We're gonna click on it when you open it, it's gonna look a little something like this. Um, uh, keep in mind that you have to have certain uh, waves bundles to open these kind of things. This one here is uh, basically for bass. Um, uh, you, you add it to a bass guitar or bass track or whatever it is, you, whether MIDI or a live instrument, uh, you can do it any way you want. Uh, basically, the sensitivity is right here. You got your meter in and out <clears throat> to basically show you if you're uh. I'm uh, passing the red area, which we don't really want to pass to zero. Um, red area is kind of dangerous. We, we should always leave room for us to mix it. Your sensitivity, uh, this will flash when you guys are playing it. Got your bass, your treble, compress, and your output. Uh, this is great. I suggest you guys go in and try it, see what kind of effects you guys can get out of it. And this is basically the E Kramer BA. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something new, and I hope this will become beneficial to you guys later on in the future. I'm sure you guys how to use this uh, and how to use it in your mix. Uh, um, on a bass track. Uh, thank you guys for watching my video and please subscribe.